Now a software-based keylogger is a software that is installed on a PC. It commonly utilizes the Windows function set Windows hook X, which allows the software monitor to, to really to monitor all the keystrokes. This type of keylogger is usually packaged with spyware that is an executable. It initiates the hook function with a DLL file to handle all the logging functions. Now this type of keylogger can capture autocomplete passwords as well. Yes, and there are many different types of software keyloggers. There is a hypervisor-based keylogger, which resides within the hypervisor itself, mm -hmm. running underneath the operating system. An example of a hypervisor is VMware's ESXi product, or Microsoft Hyper-V. There are also kernel-based software keyloggers. In this case, the software will get access to the operating system via the highest privileged user, such as a root, and then it will hide itself in the operating system so that it's not detectable. Now, another type of software-based keylogger is an API. API is short for Application Programming mm -hmm. Interface. API makes it possible for a device, such as a keyboard, to communicate with an application. Now, these keyloggers can make the use of the keyboard APIs running inside of the application. Now, one of the more dangerous uh, API-based keyloggers can record pins used for authentication via BIOS. So now a hacker knows the key that is needed to power on and make use of your PC. Yes, and a form grabbing keylogger is designed to simply grab data from a form. So when you go to a web page and it has the form that you fill in to sign up for access to your bank account or the form where you would simply enter your username and password, this keylogger will recognize those forms and record the data hmm. you enter up until you click the submit or OK button. This one is very dangerous because it isn't capturing everything that you type, making it easy for a hacker to steal only the important usernames and passwords that you utilize on a daily basis. That's right. There are also memory injection-based keyloggers, which can alter the memory table that is associated with your browser and some of the other system functions to control their logging functions. Now, what they'll do is they'll patch your memory table or inject data directly into the memory, which can allow the hacker to bypass the Windows user account control. Now, a good example uh, of this is Trojans that use the type of keylogger. This would be something like if, if you've heard of Zeus and SpyEye. Mm -hmm.